In this problem, we're given a table and we're asked to identify the type of function that f of x is and then identify the important features of that function. First thing we want to do is identify the type of function. I see that in the table, x is increasing by 1 over and over again. So the first thing I want to check is to see if this thing could be linear. If it were linear, there'd be a constant rate of change. Every time x increased by 1, there would be a fixed amount added or subtracted to the y value. So we see here that as x increases by 1, if you take 85 minus 141.6667, we see that we get negative 56.6667. So if it's a linear function, we should see that same change occur again. Clearly that didn't happen from 85 to 51, but in case you want to check, you could take 51 minus 85, and you clearly see that you get negative 34. So it's not the same amount of decrease. So I can at least assume, I can at least conclude that it's not linear. The next thing I want to do is check to see if this could be an exponential function. If it's an exponential function, then every time x increases by one unit, we'll multiply the y value by a fixed amount. So, for example, if we start at a y value of 85 and we multiply by a fixed number b, we would land at a y value of 51. Solving for b, we divide both sides by 85, and we get b equals 51 divided by 85, which is the number 0.6. So my guess is that every time x increases by 1, we multiply the y value by 0.6. So let's go ahead and check in the table and see if that's true. If you start at any one of these x, excuse me, y values and multiply by 0.6, you will get the next y value in the table. So I conclude, every time x increases by one unit, we multiply the y value by 0.6. Because that pattern exists, we can now conclude that this is an exponential function. Further, we can say that the factor of this exponential function is 0.6. The factor is the number that you multiply the y value by every time x increases by 1. This is a decreasing exponential function. We see that in a table, as x increases, y decreases. We also know it's decreasing because the factor is a number between 0 and 1. The rate of decrease, rate is found by taking the factor minus 1, so the rate is 0.6 minus 1, which is negative 0.4. And again, we usually discuss rate as a percentage change. So instead of saying a rate of negative 0.4, we say it's decreasing at a rate of 40%. It's decreasing at a rate of 40%. Every time x increases by 1, y decreases by 40%.